I can vomit on command. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that's do it now. <laughs> do it now. <laughs> I'm not going to do it now, but only because I borrowed this suit from Stella McCartney. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura Donnelly. Hi, I'm Anne Skelly. Hi, I'm Tom Riley. Hello. I'm James Norton. We are the cast of The Nevers and we're going to play How Well Do You Know Your Co-Star with Marie Claire. When I was 16, did I A, get a steel rod put into my foot, B, get a tattoo of a cat on the right of my hip, or C, get my tongue and my lip pierced? I think it's the piercing. I think it's the cat. Yeah, I think it might be the cat. Tom Riley was right, lip and tongue pierced. <laughs> We're the same age and I did exactly the same thing. <laughs> Which Sopranos character do I identify most as? Silvio Dante, Paulie Walnut or Janice Soprano? Oh, it's Paulie. It's Paulie. Yeah. Oh, well, well then in that case, I'm going to have to go with Janice just to give us some variety. That makes you the biggest loser this week, Laura. <laughs> Thanks for trying to mix it up. But it's Paulie Walnut. <laughs> Why? Why, Why, Anne? It's his old-fashioned gangster way of being. I think you can tell that about me as well. And all um, the murders. Your sense of style and all yeah. the murders. Mm -hmm. in yeah, my the way, the way, yeah, the way he murders the elderly. Yeah. Yeah, that's my favourite. <laughs> Which celebrity, when I found out that they hadn't watched a show that I was in, did I say to them, don't worry about it, you can just binge it. You've got loads of time, just binge it. Tom Cruise, Jeff Bezos, or Barack Obama? I hope it's not Barack Obama. I hope it was. Yeah. I wish you said it all of, all of the above. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna go Barack Obama. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Tom Cruise. It was Obama. Yes! Bar most yes! embarrassing moment of my entire life. Barack most embarrassing all this time life. on his hands. I was like, oh, you're busy right now. <laughs> but when, when, you know, in November, just binge it. Just binge it. He was doing a, um, an incredibly uh, impressive like town hall in London. And because my wife was invited to things at the US Embassy in London, we went along and were in the line to meet him afterwards. Um, and I was so nervous that I just couldn't stop chatting. Nonsense, like, oh my goodness, you see the way he rolled up his sleeves and then they just pinned at his elbow. Like, maybe he has special elbow pins. And we both just turned into absolute gibbering fools in front of him and just walked away and just, I have a scar on my inner thigh. What is that scar from? Is it A? I cut it with a knife whilst sharpening a stick. My first ever dog called Ella bit me when she was a puppy. Or C, there is no scar. I just wanted you all to think about my inner thigh. <laughs> I think it's because you are a man of the woods. Mm. I think it's uh, it's the it's the stick sharpening. I kind of agree. It, I'm gonna go for you. Wanted us to think about your inner thigh. You're already doing that, so I won there. I was given a pen knife at a very early age, stupidly early, and I would cut my both my thigh and my calf quite badly. And I also asked my sister to hold a rope in between her knees, and I went and I went straight through her kneecap. So yeah, bad, bad. Don't give an eight. Don't give James a knife. <laughs> Don't give me a knife, anyway. Um, it was all accidental, just in case uh, anyone calls me up for um, criminal offence. But yeah, um, I have a scar on my inner thigh from sharpening a stick. Wow. I have a special skill. Is it I can vomit on command, I have an almost photographic memory, or I can fit into a washing machine? Fit into a washing machine. No, washing machine. can do that. It's too small. No, it's washing machine. Definitely too small. I mean, my washing machine couldn't fit a small child. Maybe I just don't have a grand as washing machine. If you it was a trick question. It was all of the above. You have a photographic memory. Well, it's not like I can go boom and then it's done. That's what I understand. Like a true photographic memory must be that you just like look and go right, got it. But if yeah. I can like read it through once, then yeah, I'll be able to recite it back to you. Oh, that's amazing. That's yeah. Guys, you missed. I can vomit on command. Oh yeah, yeah that's. Do it now. <laughs> Do it now! Demand you to vomit. I'm not going to do it now, but only because I borrowed this suit from Stella McCartney. <laughs> what is my middle name? Dolgadi Letteris? Is it Iha Heona? Or is it Graina Nanulik? I figure I can't answer this one for having information that the others don't have. I think it might be the third one. C. Alright, I'm going for A, just because I want to beat Tom. 
It's Grenin and Alexi. Oh, what? I thought that was A. Oh, no, no, sorry. A, but A, A means, means go to the toilet. Go to the toilet. Uh, right. And then Iha Hauna means Halloween. Grenin and Alexi means December sunshine. Because my mother, she basically had this obsession with Native American, how they'd name their kids after the first thing that they'd see when I think something like that. And she saw sunshine streaming in through the window in December. And and then then became I. And it's on my legal documents. Because I actually forgot to put it in the middle name section. So it's actually part of my first name. So I have to do that on all the legal documents. What was one of the scariest experiences of my life? Was it A, an emergency landing in Poland on the flight back from India? B, getting stuck on the vampire ride at Chessington World of Adventures? Or C, being pulled up on stage by Gary the Musical Clown? <laughs> oh, it's gotta be Gary the Musical Clown. That's the most terrifying thing I can ever imagine. That's a very Tom story as well. Things like that happened to Tom. I think all of them happened to him. I think it I was just that Gary the Musical Clown was the oh, scariest. Sorry, yeah. I'm gonna go be contrary and say, hey. I guess right. I'll go for vampire then just for spice. Guys, it was the plane. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It was just a, it was a man had a heart attack in first class. He was fine, but they had to descend super fast. But while we were eating, um, it didn't tell anyone. They just run through and food went in the air. And it was very scary. Like, As a child, things. what was my biggest fear? Birds, flickering light bulbs, or my house falling down? Birds, Birds. because you're that kind of person. <laughs> I reckon flickering light bulbs. No, I, do you know what? I was convinced uh, uh, when I was upstairs in buildings that the houses would fall down and I would be exposed to the night. So yeah, I remember repeatedly asking my parents, like, why, why would, why won't it just fall down? It just doesn't make sense that this should be <laughs> struck. That's, but that sounds like you're more scared of the night. I mean, it was both, wasn't it? It was like the, 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 the boundary between me and the night. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe the, I just need to unpack this with my with a night. <laughs> You need a lot of therapy. Yeah. yeah, I haven't got there quite yet. As a child, which of these was my imaginary friend? A boy with glasses called Humiski Makomiski, 40 pet donkeys, or a group of Victorian people called the Do Do It's. A suspiciously large number of donkeys. How are you going to communicate with a with a herd of donkeys? If they're like your man, you know what I mean? It's just too many to to communicate with. I feel it's the donkeys, guys. I think it's the first one. Mr. Kalwadabwadabu. That does sound like a sound that Laura would make, the first guy, but I'm going to go for, for the first one too. It was Tom Riley again. It was 40 donkeys. I'm <laughs> killing this. Why not just a, a donkey? I have no idea, but my poor mother had to count them all. And everywhere we went, she had to count them into the car door and then she'd shut the car door. I'd be like, no, you caught the last one's tail. And she'd have to open the door. She'd have to apologize to the last donkey. And <laughs> oh, you're so like your kids. What do I pronounce wrong? What the word? The river Thames, Manumia. The thing is, I don't know what that word mm. was. I'm going for that one. But you did also pronounce Thames wrong. Yeah. But it wasn't great, to be honest. I mean, I think it's the river that you did. You actively just then said the it's river Thames. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thames. So I guess Thames. that. They're all right. Pneumonia. She's not said pneumonia correctly either. Yeah, they were all wrong. Pneumonia. Was was the... Yeah, it was a trick question. It was all of them. You can <laughs> fooled. I said all of them. She's done it again, guys. She's done it again. <laughs> Who was my most played artist on Spotify last year? Oh, it's a great question. <laughs> was it Phoebe Bridges, Run the Jewels, or Taylor Swift? I hope it was Taylor Swift. I hope it was Taylor Swift too. It's Taylor Swift. <laughs> I don't understand though. And like, I wish it was one song, Laura, that meant something to me, but honestly, the whole <laughs> album's a banger. <laughs> what was my grandmother's favorite phrase life of riley blimey o'reilly none of the above i just i just riley wants to get riley in there <laughs> <laughs> i'm going for blimey o'reilly yeah blimey o'reilly i'm going for life of riley because we don't know who riley is it could have been you know like oh that's classic life of riley right there oh you pulled a real life of riley it's because I listen. I listen to my friends, you see. You need it. And Taylor Swift, it turns out. <laughs> but, but mainly I listen to Taylor Swift. <laughs>
Thanks for watching. The Nevis is available now on HBO. Bye bye. bye. bye.